way to end the regular season in Minnesota high school girls basketball. The number one and number two teams in the state in Class 4A going head to head in this late conference matchup. Minnetonka and Hopkins tonight on CCX. From the Royals Activity Center at Hopkins High School, John Jacobson along with Patty Sorensen. Patty, Hopkins coming in at 23 and two. Minnetonka 23 and two, second meeting of the regular season. Hopkins winning the first one by 17 points on Tonka's head home court. Yes, it's gonna be a great game. Like you said, both have two losses. Uh, Minnetonka lost two in conference. Hopkins has lost two to two teams out of state. Big competitors, and they're looking at a tough game. These teams aren't in the same section, so the only way they would play again would be potentially in the state tournament. But what a fun way for these teams to get ready for a section play, right? You always want to be playing tough teams. That'll get you ready for section and potentially state competition beyond. The whole atmosphere it brings, you know, yeah. the tough competition, talented teams, talented athletes, talented coaches. What way to finish out your season strong? And our key players are really talented. Two of the best players in the whole state, starting with Minnetonka and Leah Crump, the top-ranked recruit from the class of 2025. She's getting offers from all over. Really a terrific athlete and player. Terrific score, steals. I mean, she just does it all, right? Well, she does. I mean, she's coming off a great summer, too, where the U16 team for USA won the gold medal. She's a rebounder. She's an aggressive player. It's going to be exciting to watch. And for Hopkins, the veteran senior, Liv McGill. She's a McDonald's All-American this year. She'll play next year at the University of Florida. Terrific distributor and obviously a great scorer, too. Oh, obviously. You know, when they talk about Liv McGill, she loves to work. She talks about ball handling, and she just works on it and works on it. Great ball handler, great shooter, great floor leader. Well, although they're 23-2, Minnetonka, definitely the underdog here tonight. What's the key for them coming into this gym tonight against the Royals? Well, I think for Minnetonka, you know, get a good look at the bucket, give limited chances to some of their key scorers, and try and just stick to their game plan. Should be a good one here tonight. We'll tip it off in just a few minutes. Minnetonka Hopkins, number one and number two in the state of girls basketball. It's all live on CCX next. Backing about ready for tip off. Minnetonka, number two in the state. Hopkins, number one in the state in Class 4A. And the last night of the regular season in girls basketball. John Jacobson with Patty Sorensen back here at Hopkins High School. So look at the starters for tonight's game. Minnetonka, 23 and two on the year, nine and two in the Lake Conference. And their starters, Harley Woke, a 5'11 junior. Linnell Wright, 5'9 sophomore. Tori McKinney, a six foot one inch senior, and Leah Crump, six one junior, and Grace Hamdorf, a five foot nine inch senior. And for Hopkins, Tatum Woodson, a five ten junior, London Harris, a five nine junior, Liv McGill, five foot ten inch senior, Lauren Hillsheim, a five eleven junior, and Irma Walker, six foot freshman. For the Hopkins Royals, you leave this Hopkins rotation, their top eight players, the only senior is Liv McGill. They got uh, plenty of talent still to come, which seems to be what we say every year at Hopkins. <laughs> it never ends, right? It does. It seems like some of these teams that are that way, they just keep rebuilding and rebuilding as far as the depth they have. Someone's gone, a new wave comes in, and they seem to stay up there. Hopkins in black tonight. Minnetonka in white. And Liv McGill is going to get her number 23. What a terrific player she has uh, become over the years. And uh, we mentioned McDonald's All-American. Could be a Miss Basketball player this year. Um, a lot of good seniors, but uh, she's got to be right at the top of the list. Oh, I think so. I think one of the things I've, I've really enjoyed learning and watching with her play is just, number one, how hard she does work. But 
to hear a kid just say they love ball handling and they work yeah. on ball handling, it's like, you got to do that. And that's, that's what's going to carry over for her into college, too. Right, not just not just a shooter, right? Not just right. a scorer, and she is such a complete player. Yeah, and definitely she can score. She can find a way to the bucket. She can shoot. Well, thanks for tuning in. We had a late start tonight. Junior varsity got a little bit of a late start. The game went right down to the wire, and so we tip off here around 7.30, about 30 minutes past the originally scheduled time, but we are underway, first out of bounds. And... Discussion right off the bat. We'll have possession for Hopkins. Hillsheim will inbound in front of the Minnetonka bench. One of the keys for Minnetonka, limiting the number of shot opportunities within each possession that the Hopkins Royals get. Yeah, they want to they want to give them one look and get control of the boards, get on the boards, and right. then run their system. Pass goes to the corner. Well, now right in the traffic and gets fouled. And get two early free throws for Minnetonka. Fouls on Tatum Woodson, the junior. And the first free throw up and in for Lennell Wright, the sophomore. Got them both. First two points of the game for Minnetonka. Hillsheim with some pressure in the backcourt. High pass, but gathered in at midcourt by Walker. And then turned over in the corner of the pass. And back over to Minnetonka. Pushed up the floor by Tori McKinney. Gets to the basket and puts it in for two. Boy, they are really happy to have her back this year after she was out last year with a broken tibia and this brings more depth back to them. Baseline drive too strong on the shot by London Harris and a great start for Minnetonka a minute in. First couple of baskets and they have possession again. Back into the hands of McKinney. Play next year Big Ten basketball at the University of Minnesota. Ball goes to the corner. McKinney taking the pass from Crump. Now back out high to Crump. Woodson on her. Will step back. Three is up and good. Crump averaging nearly 25 a game, and it's 7 0 Minnetonka. Hillsheim pass to the front court. Woodson, corner three ball. Minnetonka, or Hopkins is on the board with that three from the junior Woodson. Her sister getting some good minutes this year at the uh, University of Michigan as a freshman. And Tatum with a big basket ends that 7-0 start to the game for the Skippers. Nice kiss off the glass on Linnell Wright's drive to the basket. Here's McGill back pushing the tempo the other way for Hopkins. Now will hesitate, explodes to the basket and scores. Nice job, just saw that and just took off and went and finished with it. Nine to five, Tonka, and a fast start to this one. Right into the lane, another floater up and in. Wright's got six points early for the Skippers. They're up by six. You know, one of the things they say about her, too, is she's a quick player, and you're seeing that. She's quick. Um, she's a coach on the floor, is what I've heard uh, coaches say. As McGill picks up her dribble ball, deflected and turned over. Came back into the hands of Harley Wolk. Bounce pass trying to squeeze it through to McKinney. Out of bounds off of Hopkins. Taka fortunate that one wasn't uh, turned over. Look at the last couple of baskets here. The uh, step back three pointer for Crump. A couple of possessions to go. And then Woodson goes to the corner and scores. We get a foul on Minnetonka on Crump. That'll be her first. And team fouls even at one apiece. Nick Gill with McKinney on her. Harris trying to turn to the basket. Nice job cutting her off by Hamdorf. 
McGill spin move. Nice kick out pass. Woodson three. This one off the mark. Offensive rebound Walker. It's fouled. Got the put back and missed, but looks like she'll go to the line for free throws. Walker, really good freshman player for this Hopkins team. Fouls on McKinney, her first. Nothing but net for Walker. Averages 6.3 points a game, but more importantly for the Royals, eight rebounds per game. Not counted on as a big score. Can score, but it's not her primary duty. You know, play defense, get rebounds, second chance opportunities like she did right there, and she makes both free throws. You do a good job of that, and you get to the free throw line more often. Get right. on the board. <laughs> Crump into the front court with the pass to right. Cross pressure and knocked away from McKinney by McGill. Last touch by McGill. Hamdorf to pass it in here for Minnetonka. Seven, 11 to seven lead for the Skippers. They scored the first seven in the game. Right, holding. Now put it on the floor, spin into the lane, tough little step back, wow. Nice job, nice shot. A nice soft touch on all three of her baskets so far. McGill, oh great look underneath, what a terrific pass. Hillsheim open underneath for two. That's what we talked about, the, the passing that Liv McGill brings to her game. and. Then Elevates her team. Three-point shot missed by Crump here on the floor and off of Minnetonka. You know, that's one of the things you like as a coach, too. I mean, you look at Liv McGill, and it's like she can do so many things, but she's out getting her teammates involved, too. She's looking to pass the ball. She's looking to see the open person. Ah, right there. I mean, patient. Swinging around, Woodson, left side. Well, knocked away by Crump, quick hands out of bounds. Crump averaging four plus steals per game. McGill the inbound right in front of McKinney. Bobs it into Harris and then back to McGill. Woodson curls wrong, gets a shot block. Crump with a block. She'll attack, now pull it up as she draws the double team. Good defense Ooh. by Harris and then double dribbled. It's like kind of one of those hesitation things and it's like you're into the game and it's like, oh no, I just put it on the floor again and I had already dribbled. She had a great steal there. They'll play great defense, got up and tipped the ball. Thirteen nine Minnetonka. Harris brought that ball up high on her dribble and get a blocking foul whistled <laughs> against Wolk. Her first team's third foul. At that last whistle, Cece Netseth, six foot senior, number 22, checked in for Minnetonka. And a steal by McKinney. Gets it ahead quickly to Crump. He'll shine from behind her and then the pass. Miss trying to get it off to Nessa. It's out of bounds, and then a turnover for Minnetonka. Anna McKinney, 5'8", senior, number two, into the lineup for Tonka now. You know, a lot going on in the first five minutes of the game. There is. There's. A, this is a quick game. It's, it's a lot of quickness out here, and. Yeah. Three-point shot is up and in for Harris. And Hopkins back to within one. All five starters have scored for Hopkins and knocked away in the backboard. Almost a turnover, but Minnetonka maintains possession. And McGill will get another assist. And look at the open player, and Harris can knock that down and does. Right, picked up her dribble. A tough defense on her by McGill. Crump, 
Three-pointer is good. Got a couple of them already. Junior with six points. Long pass ahead. Walker couldn't finish. But tracked down by Woodson. McGill open for three. Back iron not good and rebounded by McKinney. It's a Tory McKinney. Into the corner. Three-point try from there. Anna McKinney hits. Skippers lead Woods down to one, back up to seven. Harris. And Anna McKinney comes over trying to get the ball away from McGill. Instead commits her second foul. So decision here for Minnetonka, and I would think maybe Tori McKinney have to come out with the second foul, but we'll see. That's and they bad. will get her out. Sydney Cummings will check in for her. I mean, there she was being aggressive, trying to get in, deflect and everything, and it just was a step too close to McGill in there and just kind of plowed into her. Ava Cupido and Lee Williams in at the whistle for Hopkins, their first subs of the night. Traveling whistled uh, against Woodson. She thought she was tripped up on that instead whistled for traveling. 19-12, Minnetonka, seven-point lead. Inbound will come here from Crump with McGill on her. Now right to the front court. Anna McKinney, one dribble. Back out, Crump, great, some space. Turns, shot up, not good. Fighting for the ball and pulling it out. There is Hillshine. Lauren Hillshine lobs it ahead to Woodson. Trying to get it back out to McGill and intercepted by Nessa. Crump, pull up, long three-pointer. Back iron, no. Rebounded by Hillshine into the hands of McGill. Minnetonka gets back defensively. Woodson open on the wing for three. Too strong, but an offensive rebound for Hopkins. Back into the hands of Woodson, and they'll reset out top. To the block. Turning going up and traveling. Whistle against Williams. You know, you got you got a fast-paced game going. Everybody is moving and hustling out there on the floor, and and both teams just working to get into their own rhythm. Right now, the Skippers have had a little more success with their shots, but great game. Harrison Walker back into the lineup for Hopkins. Anna McKinney made a three a moment ago. Didn't get this one. It was halfway down. Hopkins gets the rebound. McGill head on a swivel, takes it all the way herself and scores. Well, she had a player coming, defender coming from behind her, going to try and tip it away, and she did a great job, just focused and took it up to the bucket. A little pressure in the backcourt, and a Minnetonka timeout. Yeah, see, there she was. She had it, and she almost had the ball tipped from behind, but she took control and finished nice. Nice job by McGill. Now you've spent a lot of time in this gym for 20 plus years as the head coach at Hopkins. Brian Cosgrave, the second year head coach at Minnetonka, seven state championships, while the head coach at Hopkins would have been an eighth if not for the pandemic shutting down that 2020 season and one of the best teams we've ever seen in the state that Paige Becker's senior year, an undefeated team that no doubt one night later would have won the, the state title. Yeah, he's had a, a sorry John. Yes, he's had a lot of success here, you know, and he's had some athletes come through here that have gone on and are, are still doing great things in college. 17 and 11 last year, but 23 and 2 this season at Minnetonka. They're off to a good start in the first eight minutes of the game, leading number one Hopkins by five. Patty mentioned in the pregame, Hopkins only two losses coming against really good Iowa teams, Johnston and Dowling Catholic. A steal here for Walker. Nice little step, hero step to the basket. Couldn't get the shot to go, and then we get a backcourt foul. And Walker did everything but finish on that one, and then commits the foul. 
That's kind of one of those frustration things. You missed that shot you thought would be an easy put up and then you got in there and got a little too aggressive on the defense. Wright has had a good start to the game. Brings it into the front court. Sidney Cummings, number three with it. One dribble and then back out to Crump. Crump pull up. And missed on the 14 footer offensive rebound and dribbled back out by Tory McKinney. And we get a foul on the wing on Hopkins. So be on McGill her first. Third team foul on Hopkins. Crump in and bounding to right. Crump to the corner, put up to three. Too strong with the offensive rebound pulled down by Sidney Reed. Reed, a player they're happy to have back, who missed most of the season coming off an ACL injury, but she's getting some minutes now off the bench. Rebound off the missed shot. Hopkins pushing it back ahead. Cupido for three. Not good. And the rebound pulled down. By Tory McKinney. Here is Crump back into the lane off the hands. Reed, Cupido with it. And then back out. Drive to the basket. Too strong for Tory McKinney. We're going to get a foul. Look at the shot. Um, must have got her with the body. Well, that's yeah. two on Walker now. First foul shot up and in for Tori McKinney. Walker and Cupido come out for Hopkins. Second one off the mark, rebounded by Hillshine. Adam McGill. McGill gets fouled on her way to the basket. You know, you talk about Liv McGill and, you know, the things she's been able to accomplish and being the McDonald All-American, but like she said, she's not done. So there's still, still things to be taken care of here in her mind. Three-point shot from the wing. Too strong on the shot by Malia White. Crump with it. Hands it off. Tori McKinney will back it out. Guarded by Hillshine. Back into the hands of right out top. Reed setting a screen. Long two point shot up and in. A nice job. Patient with her trying to find players and had the open shot and was able to complete. Biggest lead of the night for Minnetonka. Eight points at 22-14. Wright finds her teammate underneath and fouls as Williams will go to the line for two. Williams, sophomore, averages seven points a game off the bench. Ooh. That foul was on Tori McKinney, and that is her third of the night. He is going to have to sit the rest of the half. Yeah, she's been key for them both defensively and offensively tonight, so that's that's kind of hard to have to sit this long, but. Woke and Anna McKinney back in for Minnetonka. Second free throw is good for Williams. First bench point for Hopkins tonight. 22-15. Crump front court attacking the free throw line. Lines Anna McKinney in the corner on the wing, rather. Lob in to Wolk, and she traveled. Didn't release the pass in time to Reed in the turnover by the Skippers. And look at Tara Starts, fourth year head coach. State champs a couple of years ago, almost state champions again. 2023 lost a heartbreaker, a one point loss to STMA. And an all late conference championship in 4A. 
He'll be the favorite to win section six again. Of course, you got Wyzetta always right there. And you're going to steal here briefly for McKinney and then taken back by White for Hopkins. Woodson one dribble and then gives it to McGill. So we wind down to seven minutes to play here in the first half. And has led all the way. McGill the basket, tough shot. Oh, that get in and somehow Liv McGill able to get it in. Six points for her and then a turnover and the pressure in the backcourt by Woodson forces the skippers into turning it over. One look at it again. Look it's like the basket. two players, almost three yeah. on her and she's still finished. Hillsheim will get it back into McGill's hands again. Shot clock at 15. McGill step back, three point try, well short, and out of bounds. Hillshine tried to save it, but the ball had landed on the end line. She put on a shooting clinic, I believe it was two years ago in the state tournament. She couldn't miss. Oh. Yes. He was going to get a little breather right now for a little bit. It's a little <laughs> rest here and 640 to go in the half. Right with the pass. The ball movement here by Minnetonka above the block. Right had it knocked away and loose ball foul going to be whistled against Crump. Well, it's going to be her second. Maybe not enough to get her out of the game, but certainly for Minnetonka, a little bit concerning. You already got Tori McKinney on the bench with three, and certainly can't afford Leah Crump to pick up a third before halftime. And no. there in the bonus, Hopkins is. You definitely don't want to see that happen. Tatum Woodson misses on the front end, though, and the rebound taken down by Hamdorf. Front court, Crump. Is it off Hamdorf? Three from the wing. Too strong. Ball tipped out of bounds off Tonka. We have a lot of bodies flying around the floor, that's for sure. There's these these guys are playing hard. Whistle. Is he looking at the yeah. shot clock? No. Clock's at 35, so I don't know if That's they... right. Did they? Oh, I, I think know. they added a second back onto the clock, I think. Six minutes to go in the half. Last night of the regular season for these teams to get ready for section oh, play next week. Yeah, she oh. traveled. Hillshine have turned it over. Had Crump on her, but it was Crump that actually forced her into the turnover there. Now Seth on the inbound and knocked away by Woodson. Passing will be now from the sideline. Bin goes to Crump. Head to the front court to the corner, open is Hamdorf and hits this one. Missed on the other wing, but the senior knocks this one down. Kind of a group of, of seniors who've grown up playing basketball together, and now it's you know, the last run, right? And you want to end it uh, strong, not just tonight, but hopefully into the postseason and perhaps a state tournament berth for the Skippers this year. Steal here, ball pass right to right who tries to put the shot off the glass blindly missed it and knocked out of bounds and Minnetonka will keep it. Sydney Cummings number three back in for Minnetonka now and she will replace Hamdorf. Pass comes into Cummings in the corner. This little hesitation fake in the shot up. And two free throws coming for Aaliyah Crump. Uh, 
That's going to be Anne McGill, and that's her second. Crump two three pointers for her six points tonight. Came in averaging just a shade under 25 points a game. Has eight tonight. We're going to talk about a double digit lead here on Hopkins, 27 17. McGill traveled. <clears throat> Minnetonka with some good defense, forcing Hopkins into some turnovers. Not a ton, but more than you normally would see from a Hopkins team, right? Well, I agree. I think so, too. It's and part of it is just the aggressiveness, that, that how they're taking things to the bucket or how they're moving the ball up the court and just getting in there and deflecting the ball, too. That's so key. Right. And a blocking foul on McGill, and that will be her third. Trying to play good defense on right, and that's a huge blow for Hopkins with McGill out for the last five minutes of the half. Quickly to the bench, and Ava Cupido, the talented freshman number three in for her. Well, now you have each team has one of their key players on the yep. bench for quite a while in this first half. Right on the baseline. Missed a shot. Nesseth, good offensive rebound. Mid-range jumper, too strong, skipped long on the shot by Wolf. And it's going to still be Minnetonka basketball to off Hopkins. Skippers are now in the bonus the rest of the half. And now it comes to Crump. Harris now guarding her. And a foul whistled on Harris. I think a lot of people were probably holding their breath, wondering which way that was right, going to go. Right, right. I, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was too. It's a bonus time now here for the skippers. Crump had a couple of free throws a moment ago. Not this one. Rebounded by Hillshine. Drive to the basket and Crump with the block of Woodson. You know, if you watched her as that was coming, she stepped back, I think, to avoid this foul here, and then was, well, she kind of had him, but then was able to get the ball. It's like she's got to be careful. You do not want your yeah, third no, foul right now. Look at that replay from the, the baseline. She definitely didn't get any body contact there. There's a long arm able to extend out and get the block on Woodson. Terrific play. She'll come out there. <laughs> Coach Cosgrove will say, I'm not going to take a chance on that again. <laughs> I think we need to just give you a breather <laughs> right. so we don't... We got a foul on Minnetonka that is going to send Williams back to the line. The one and one, and she'll sure in the second. Well, crumps back in quick. She doesn't sit out long. But I'm sure the words of advice from yes. the coaches were don't, don't play try smart. That again. Yeah, <laughs> play smart. Second one also good. So three points now for Williams. Quickly, Minnetonka to the front court. Cummings turns, waiting for the defender to go by her and puts it in. Terrific pass from Crump. Sydney Cummings has her first basket of the night. Hillshine throws it back out, tied to Woodson. Woodson, oh, and tried to get it to Hillshine and stolen instead. By Reed. Crump looking for a teammate. We get a foul away from the basketball. Look at the basket, a great feed. And a nice little hesitation there by Cummings. And instead of getting your shot blocked, waited for the defender to go by. Great teamwork there. Yeah, good job, uh, Crump, too, pushing the ball up and, and looking and seeing her teammate like that. Foul was on Hillsheim. It's her first. Team fouls even at eight apiece. And the senior CeCe Nessa to the line for one and one. Back in. Not uh, good. Got a hand on the rebound and able to get it to a teammate and then deflected out of bounds off of Woodson. So missed the free throw but kept it alive and Tonka keeps possession. Oh, 
coach took her out. He just had a few things, the direction he wanted her to do, and put her right back in. So. And a McKinney on the inbound, and Woodson steals it. Got in front of Wright and goes to the basket and scores. What a play by Tatum Woodson. See if that gives um, Hopkins a little spark here before halftime. Wright comes up short on the jumper out of bounds. Hopkins basketball. Trump is going to come out and back in is coming to look at that uh, great finish by Woodson after the steal. I think they're doing a little bit of offense defense with Crump in there just to you know get her in there for scoring but avoid a possible third follow on defense. Hillsheim out top. Cupido for three not good and Reed gets tied up with Williams. Alternate possession we'll give it to Minnetonka. And just like he said, offense. Coach Ray back in is uh, Crump for offense. Wright will bring it up here. We'll wind down toward three minutes to go in the half. And Minnetonka has led from the start, scoring the first seven tonight. Great pass. So oh, Crump with a terrific setup. Sydney Reed with her first basket. You know, and the more Crump realizes that, that they're, which she's already doing, they're going to double team her. That means she's got a teammate that's been open down low several times. Pass to Hillsheim, able to get it through traffic. A good assist, and Hillsheim able to finish off the pass from Woodson. 31 23. Right to Crump. Quickly to Nessa. And then back out high, it comes. Into the hands of Reed and the right. 15 on the shot clock. Cummings traveled. The Minnetonka basket a minute ago. And what a great pass, too, for Crump, who could have gone to the basket herself. Instead, passes up uh, what could have been a shot for a better shot for Sidney Reed. Well, on such a quick heads up, quick pass. It was yes. And there's where you, you you like that your teammates are where you're going to get a ball like that. So be ready. Hillsheim with the basketball. Again, McGill on the bench with three fouls for Hopkins. Tatum Woodson too strong on the three and rebounded by Anna McKinney. Tori McKinney, likewise for Minnetonka on the bench with three fouls. Under two minutes to go now in the half. Almost a steal by Woodson. Three point shot well short by Reed. And rebounded by White. Woodson front court. Woodson put up on and struck the long three. Well, and you know, you talked earlier too that their lone senior on this team is Liv McGill. She's sitting on the bench. You're seeing what they have next year yep, coming back. Right. Right off to Anna McKinney in the corner. Trying to get the pass in the middle and it's deflected by Williams as she forces the turnover. Woodson, turnaround shot. She'll go to the line for two and Tatum Woodson started to take over offensively here for Hopkins late in the half. She definitely has been the spark plug they needed to come in and take over. Fouls on right, her second. Woodson missing on the free throw, so she's 0 of 2 so far from the line. Crump back in for Minnetonka, along with Hamdorf. Second one is good. Hopkins to within four. They trailed by as many as 10. Couple of times here in the first half. Right dribbles it out to the left wing. The minute to go in the first half. Crump for three. Round it in. 
With the shooter's touch there, and shooter's roll, 11 points for her. Harris comes calling down the baseline, and London then able to get the shot to go, and here comes Minnetonka the other way, two on one. Nice little shovel pass, Nesev up, and couldn't get it to go. It should go to the line for two. That was some great heads up and teamwork with the passing and pushing the ball and both people flying. Now to mess it back to the line and we'll shoot two this time. And has her first point tonight. Crump again out when the Hopkins is, or Minnetonka is about to go on defense. One out of two for the senior and rebounded by Hillshine. <laughs> Woodson, another long three. Back iron not good. Loose ball. Chased down by Reed. Into the hands of Wright. Shot clock is off. Out of 15 seconds to go. Right to the basket. And it gets swatted to the corner by Woodson and off of Nesseth and out of bounds and Hopkins will get presumably the last possession of the half here with 10 point seconds, 10.6 seconds to go. Tatum Woodson brings it into the front court with six seconds left. She's gonna take it herself, ball knocked out of bounds if by Minnetonka, they get the block and get it out. <laughs> Woodson and Coach Starks looking for some contact. No foul call, but it will be Hopkins with the basketball. Just 1.9 seconds to go. So we'll have to get something set up pretty quick off the inbound. One dribble in the shot at the most, right? A lob in, and it's stolen away. And it's not the way Hopkins had wanted to end it up on that final possession. And so a terrific first half for Minnetonka. Team that they lost to by 17. These teams played a month ago. And Minnetonka up by eight at halftime. Led right from the start. Opening seconds of the game, they're up by eight. Well, you know, I think part of it, too, is, is a lot. Both teams are playing very quick-paced, intense, and looking at it. And uh, shots have been dropping for Minnetonka. And, and a few shots that probably normally drop for Hopkins haven't gone. But you got to give it to Minnetonka. Their, their kids are coming up. They're getting in the passing lanes. They've, they've caused some turnovers that they've been able to finish with on the other end. Fun first half of basketball. Number two, Minnetonka leads number one, Hopkins. 35-27 our score. We're back with more from Hopkins High School after this timeout. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button and from there choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. With Patty Sorensen, I'm John Jacobson. We're at the Royals Athletic Center tonight. High school girls basketball, 23-2 Minnetonka, 23-2 Hopkins, and the Skippers leading the top-ranked Royals by eight. If you look at highlights from the first half, Patty, and a, a great start for Hopkins. Step back three for Leah Crump. She had three three-pointers in that first half. Woodson, a good first half, scoring the ball for Hopkins. Tatum Woodson knocking down a three from the wing there. Really nice shooting touch in the first half, especially early for Linnell Wright. And then a block here for Crump. Taking to the basket. And then gets the turnover force there by Hopkins. And they can do that, right? They're always known for great defense, no matter who the coach is. And Forced turnovers there, but Minnetonka's defense, I thought, has been pretty solid too, and their offense not bad either. Crump creating a little space, 
didn't get called for a foul, whether she should have or not. But able to score on that one. Liv McGill takes it all the way to the basket here and scores. McGill with uh, six points before she was sent to the bench with foul trouble late in the first half. Three ball from Hamdorf. Able to knock down one of five threes in the half. And Woodson with the steal. Able to get right to go past her and able to put in two. Right could find him and Crump even a better find. Not getting it off for two and Sydney Reed with her low basket of the half. And Woodson trying to keep her team close. Knocks down another three late in the first half. So look at the top scores. Crump with 11 points. Right with 10 for Minnetonka. And three players with three each. And on the Hopkins side, Woodson nine. McGill, as I mentioned, saddled with foul trouble with six. And Lauren Hillsheim with four points. So it's everything you want, right, so far for uh, for Hopkins, or for Minnetonka, rather, and, and Coach Cosgrove, other than Tori McKinney having to sit with the three fouls. Although it doesn't seem to affect them too much. I mean, she's a terrific player, but they were still able to, to carry on. I think that the depth that they've they've developed and built up has had, been able to do that. They've had players come in and step it up, and then the style of play stayed the same, the intensity stayed the same. Um, and, then, and then you had Woodson come back and kind of keep bringing them in when they have McGill on the bench. We'll take a final timeout, come back, start the second half here from Hopkins in a moment. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including full sporting events and daily newscasts. To find us, go to the store, search CCX, and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. The CCX Media app, available on Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and Roku. Thirty-five twenty-seven minutes, Hanka on top of Hopkins to get ready for the start of the second half. So, if you were Coach Starks, what do you think the message was to your team there at, at halftime? Down eight, un, uncharacteristic to be behind and to be behind for an entire half. Well, I mean, let's go back to playing how we play. Okay, we got to reduce some of the turnovers we've had and and just finish at the bucket. And not a ton of points for a Hopkins team at halftime either, right? 27 points. Hillsheim misses on the three and chased down by Leah Crump. Crump knocked away by Harris. He'll stay with Minnetonka here. Each team back to their original starting lineup. That's Woke, Wright, Tory McKinney, Crump, and Hamdor for Minnetonka. Kilsheim, Walker, Woodson, Harrison, Begill for Hopkins. Hamdorf ran across to right. Still 20 on the shot clock. Hamdorf trying to go against McGill, missed the shot. And the rebound by McGill. Woodson for three, missed it shot and rebounded by Crump. I like that last possession by Minnetonka, though. You know, Hamdorf trying to get McGill into a foul. Didn't get it, but got it, and still got a decent look at it. She sure did. And we get an offensive foul whistled here on Leah Crump, and that'll be her third. So now we get Crump, Tori McKinney, and Liv McGill, all key players for these two teams with three fouls each. 17 minutes to play in the game. McGill hands it off to Woodson. Harris, McGill to Hillsheim, turn around by her. Too strong, and loose ball, and Hamdorf had it, and we get a timeout. Cosgrove sensing his team in a little bit of trouble. Calls timeout, their second used timeout. Hopkins clinched yet another late conference title. They have won so many over the last couple of decades. And 11-0 in the conference. Two games in front of Minnetonka, St. Michael, Albertville. You look at those next two teams. 
next three teams really not great conference records but look at their overall records and they're all ranked in the top 10 in 4A. Well there's there's there is there's some very talented teams in their tough competition in and out so. And then the rankings we've talked about Hopkins and Minnetonka being right at the top Maple Grove having a terrific season at number three and then STMA at four Eden Prairie White Lakeville North Rosemont and over a 21 and four and White Bear Lake rounds out the top 10 and 4A. There'll be some good basketball teams that won't be able to make the state tournament because of the way their sections are aligned. That is so true and that that has been the case many years. Yes. Crump and Harris thought she had gotten all ball there and whistle for a foul. One of the Hopkins fans behind us didn't like the foul call and London Harris it's her second crump to the line to shoot two. Get it again. Yeah, a little arm a lot of ball. Yeah. First free throw up and in for Crump. She is three out of four from the free throw line tonight. I really like how hard Harris plays and how smart on defense how much she works. Crump converts on both free throws first two points of the second half. Back to a 10 point lead McGill in some trouble put up the shot not good chased down by right in the corner. Ahead to Crump. Good nice. pass. Oh, a terrific pass and unable to finish at the rim was Tori McKinney. Back out to Crump for three. Back iron not good and the rebound by Miguel. Oh, that would have been a big one for Minnetonka. Would have put them up by 13. Hillsheim off the feed from McGill. Can't finish at the rim. Rebound by Wright. Pass ahead to Crump. Through the double team. Back out. Good ball movement. Three ball. Again, good possession for Minnetonka. He'll take that, right? But oh, definitely. Missed. They're getting good, good ball movement seen to each other. Wright just couldn't knock down the three. It's McGill on Crump. Comes up short. Good defense by the junior, but McGill gets the loose ball on the putback, and Hopkins has their first points here in the second half. Back to an eight-point game, which we had at halftime. Walker defending McKinney and knocked out of bounds. Looks like could have been them. Woodson thought that was definitely off of right. It's going to stay with Tonka here. Hamdorf will inbound. Able to skip that through traffic into Crump. There's a double team. He'll shine. Nice job of stripping the ball away. Gill hesitation runner for her up and in. Liv Miguel has the first two baskets for Hopkins here in the second half. Minnetonka lead is down to six. Well, and this is where you're going to see too. I mean, Liv sat out quite a bit that last half, and just the leadership that she's going to bring to the floor. And foul is going to be on Walker defending uh, Tori McKinney down on the block. No, oh, excuse me. It's going to be on Harris. So that's three on Harris now. Crump inbounding to right. Under 15 minutes to go here in the game. Good luck to the basket. And Wolf puts it up and in. That's the first basket tonight for the junior. That was a lot of patience waiting yes. for that person. And nice to see her. McGill in traffic. Up around. And one. And some of the shots he puts up here. Like, how is that going to go in? And it does. Great touch around the rim, and that is going to be the fourth foul on Tori McKinney, and she's going to have to come right back to the bench where she spent a good deal of time in the first half. Boy, McKinney was open. She could get a uh, a block on that, or rather, charge, charge. call. Yeah. Excuse me, which would have been four on McGill. So that's a, that's that a big play. <laughs> And McGill's at the point where she's like, I'm going to take control here. Not necessarily shoot every time, but I'm going to try to dictate how things are going to go here in the second half. Free throw up and in. And we get a timeout here by Hopkins, a full timeout. First used for them tonight. 
Well, and I'm, it'd be interesting to see. I mean, they've been playing at times, both teams, in full pressure. I mean, they're playing tough man-to-man, -to -man, full court anyhow, so see if she's going to take it a little different look on defense than we've seen so far. So seven points for Liv McGill out of the gate coming into the second half here. Brought Hopkins back to within five. Gill and Harris foul trouble with three fouls each. Tori McKinney four for Minnetonka and Aaliyah Crump with three. Well, it, it was so key, I thought, a couple of possessions ago, maybe three possessions ago, when Minnetonka had some really good ball moving, got an open look for, for three for uh, right that didn't go down. Lead could have been 13. Hopkins comes back. They score in the next possession. Get a couple more, and here we are now. It's a five-point game. You know, and both teams are capable of, to, to go on runs like that, too. And I think we're going to continue to see that back and forth. We'll see if Hopkins can continue to chip away and if Minnetonka can weather this little run here by Hopkins early in the second half. Crump. Pull up from 15. It's where you want your all yep. state player to do, right? And mm -hmm. Leah Crump out of the timeout answers. Back to a seven point Looks lead. Like. Good kick out pass to Woodson. Shot missed there. And McGill got a hand on it underneath the Hillshine. And she's fouled. And Hillshine will go to the line and shoot two. Looks like Harris tweaked her knee or something. She's been. She was struggling going up the floor and down the floor. Foul's going to be on Nesseth, her second. Third team foul on Taka. And Hilsheim to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Hilsheim averages 12 a game on eight rebounds. Good players. Pretty quiet tonight, though. We'll need her to pick up perhaps some of the scoring here in the second half for Hopkins to get this comeback. Crump to right and then back to Crump. Long three-pointer way off the mark and out of bounds. So 35 Minnetonka. Lib McGill will bring it into the front court. Uh, pass at the feet of Walker from Cupido, and then we get a tie-up. Alternate possession gives it back to Minnetonka for the held ball. Woke to inbound and gets it into right. Woodson backs off on the pressure. Minnetonka has led from the opening basket of the game. And a knockoff on the number one team in 4A. Handoff to Woke and then back into Crump's hands. Crump turns, lost the ball, and picked up by Hillsheim, and then the pass deflected, but it does get to Woodson. Tatum Woodson spins in the corner. Hillsheim for three is good. <laughs> Hopkins as close as they've been in a while. They're down by just three. It's a one possession game. Three ball from the right side, missed by Nesseth. Whistle and a foul, I believe, on Hopkins. Huh. Leah White, number 11, in for the first time in the second half. Ava Cupido out for Hopkins. The last foul was on Cupido, her first. Team fouls even a three apiece here in the second half. Woke, down low, Crump, and she gets fouled by Woodson. Back to the line for two free throws for Aaliyah Crump. You know, it's just watching him move the ball and looking for him to get it inside there to her. She had a good opportunity, and as she went up is when they ended up following her. 
Fallon Woodson is her second. Adam Boat. Six second half points for Crump. She has 17 in all. Back to a two possession lead. Into Walker. Comes up short in the paint. Good rebound by Hillsheim. Out to McGill for three. Big possession there for Hopkins. Second chance opportunity. And McGill, 10 points already here in the second half in less than six minutes. Cummings in the corner for Tonka. In the Crump's hands, down low, ball knocked away from Handorf. Good ball movement. Crump an open three. Too strong and rebounded by Hillsheim. And double dribble by Hillsheim in the backcourt to give it back to Minnetonka. You know, both teams, when they take their time, you know, they move. Their ball movement is very well, and they get great shots off then. That three ball from Liv McGill, her first three tonight. Averaging just under 23 points a game. That's 16 so far this evening. Her team down by two, Minnetonka with the basketball. Lob in, up and in, right, a foul will go to the line. First basket in the second half for the sophomore. Well, Chance for a three-point play. How they lined up here for that inbounds play, and she just worked her way down in the beginning. Woodson was right in front of her, and she just worked her way right down. The Woodson with back-to-back -back fouls, and that's three now on her. Sydney Reed back in to the lineup. Replacing Cummings. Wright completes the three-point play. 46-41. Under 12 will go. McGill. Up and one. All right, the Liv McGill show in the second half so far for Hopkins on offense. One yep. more look at it. Now it's interesting is they, they caught her off her, you know, she got off her feet, she came down, got her, and then Liv went up and shot it. So it was like. McGill gets the free throw. Two point game, 46-44. Right with it. Oh, double team on her now. And taken away by McGill. Gets the steal going on McKinney and scores it. And Hopkins for the first time tonight has tied the game. Well, and if you're McKinney out there, you have to really be careful. Well, because and she was. Four, you can tell yeah. she backed off on that, right? Yeah. Wasn't going to foul out on that. McKinney is back into the game with four fouls in her offense. Here's Crump spinning, turns, short, and loose ball. Controlled by Hopkins. McGill dribbling through traffic and is fouled. And you've played Hopkins before, and sometimes you can feel the momentum, and you can't stop it, right? Right. They're starting to get to feel more confident, and they're pushing the ball. And, you know, Tonka just has to breathe right now, relax. Let's just get back to our game, get a stop here, or... Fouls on Reed, her first. Team fouls even at five. I got a feeling that free throws are going to be a factor down the stretch. We're going to have bonus time not too long from now, the way things are going, with still 10.45 to play in the game. Gill, right pretty close on her defensively. Gill trying to break her drown, gets to the basket, and then a nice defensive play by knocking it away by Lanell Wright. Forces a turnover. Here's Crump attacking now. Pulls up from 12. Not good. Off the hands of Reed and pulled out by Woodson. Tatum Woodson front court for Hopkins. Hesitation pulls it back out and into McGill's hands. Working on Crump. She'll put it on the floor. McGill float her up. Back iron not good. Gets tied up with Hamdorf. Jump ball or a foul. The officials are going to discuss it. Right. Mm, they're going to 
call a foul. On Handorf on that. Did they call it on Handorf? I thought they called it on. Huh. First on Handorf, and that's 16 fouls down Minnetonka. So it will be bonus the rest of the way here for Hopkins. Woodson missed on the three, rebounded by Wright. And then a whistle and a foul on Woodson, and that's going to be the fourth now on Tatum Woodson. 16 fouls. On Hopkins and Minnetonka will be in the bonus the rest of the way. So now you've got key players on each side. Woodson, who goes to the bench now with four, and Tori McKinney for Minnetonka with four fouls. McKinney still in the game. What a terrific game we've had tonight. Number one versus number two. Reed, three point shot up and in. Sidney Reed, we talked about it briefly in the first half. Tore ACL in the summer, wanted to come back for his senior year. Roy worked hard to get back in, and what a big basket for her. Puts her team up by three. Miguel has it knocked away, gets it back off the glass and in. One point game. They're talking in front. Nearing the midway point of the second half. Right to the corner, Handorf three, short, rebounded by McGill. Off to the corner, three ball too strong from Malia White. And a rebound to Reed. Minnetonka has not trailed all night. He's nursing a one-point lead here with the basketball. And 8.40 to go in the game. Reed down below, or to Crump. Draw foul, and Crump will go to the line. Crump's been pretty solid from the free throw line tonight. Chance to cash in with some points here. That foul's on Harris, and that is her four. From six of seven from the free throw line tonight. And that's one more. 18 points now for the junior. Second one also good. Skippers by three. McGill at 17 second half points. Got her team back into it. And off to White, back to McGill. McGill will put up a three for the tie, and a good out of bounds, Hopkins, or Minnetonka basketball. No matter the outcome, it's going to be a great game for each of these teams, right, as they go into practice and get ready for section. Oh, well, definitely. You know, what, what a game to prepare you for even, you know, what sections will be like. And Crump had broke toward the basket as McKinney released the pass, and it's out of bounds. Back to Hopkins. You know, Minnetonka has done this without much contributions from Tori McKinney. She's been hampered with foul trouble, averages 15 a game, has just three points tonight. McGill missed on that runner, but chased down by White. Hillsheim for three, well short, and rebounded by Reed. Reed with some good minutes off the bench here in the second half. Right into the front court for Tonka. Crump will put it on the floor on Hillsheim. A little jumper over her, not good, rebound by McGill. Liv will push it up for the Royals. Working on Anna McKinney, backs it out on the dribble. 
Now go to the basket. Oh, great look. Foul up, up and in. Walker for two. Well, and that's, I, I, that's a heads up because you know you're going to get double people coming at you, and her teammate just stayed open, was wide open then because the help had come over. Reed. And ball knocked away, comes off. Loose ball out near the midcourt stripe. Chased down by Crump. 15 on the shot clock. Crump will put up the three. Not good. Rebound. Pulled down by White. Knocked away by Tori McKinney, but able to get it out into the hands of McGill. So Anna McKinney coming from behind and protects the basketball. Hopkins trying to get into the lead for the first time tonight. Not yet. Ball saved out of bounds. It's off of Tonka in Hopkins possession. Nesseth and Wolk back in for Minnetonka. Bounce pass in the inbound to Hillshine. And a steal made by Wright. Taking it to the basket and gets fouled and will shoot two. A nice defensive play by Lanelle Wright. She'll get rewarded with free throws. A foul on Hillsheim is her second. You know, like you said earlier, with the way the followers are going, and we will. We are in one and one here. And one more follow on the Skippers and Hopkins in one and one. So we'll be seeing some free throws tonight. Well, Tonka, close to being able to shoot double bonus here. True. The right's like, ah, we don't need a double bonus. We'll just make all our free throws. They've been yeah. pretty solid here tonight, including in the second half where they've made all nine of their free throws. McGill attacking high off the glass. Not good. Rebounded by Crump. From pass intended for Tori McKinney, does chase it down off the deflection. Manel Wright drive, and we get a foul. Set on. And if it's on Harris, that's her fifth. See who they called on. They did. Oh. Nope. They no, didn't. no. It's on Hillsheim, and it's okay. her third. That is nine team fouls, but it's a shooting foul here. Oh no, excuse me, it's a one on one. My okay. mistake. Then missed on the, the front end of it. Hopkins with the rebound. Failing by three. And down to under six minutes to go. McGill floats a pass out. White trying to tie it up around the rim and in. How about that for the first time to get your first basket of the night? Malia White, the junior, ties it at 53. Didn't look like a concern or question in her nope. mind. She just knew that was going. Crump to Tori Cummings in Hillsheim, slashing across. Will come back yet another foul. So she's picked up three in quick order here. And now Hillsheim with four fouls. And it's double bonus now for Minnetonka the rest of the way. Tori McKinney to the free throw line. The first point here in the second half. Look at the foul again. Oh, yeah. They, you know, it's just trying to come get it, but they had her all wrapped up. Tori McKinney puts Minnetonka back in front. Five and a half minutes to go. Two-point skipper's lead. White to McGill. Into Walker's hands, and then back off to McGill. Shot clock at 15, she backs it out. Now start to move to the basket, turn around shot, back iron not good. Rebound by Nesef. And that's been key too, I mean Minnetonka on the boards, on the defensive boards, it's been very key for them. They have limited Hopkins to fewer second chance opportunities than they get in most games. Off the hands of Tori McKinney out of bounds. Just couldn't handle the pass. And a turnover by the Skippers. It's hey, still five minutes to go, but you feel like every possession is so crucial, right? It is. It just feels like it, it's been that kind of a game. Even when Minnetonka had a lead, it just is. 
back and forth as far as the competitiveness. Crump knocked it away and was the last one to touch it. We got a great view. There we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> White out, and Hopkins, some very experienced players out on the court. They've got their starting lineup back out there. Woodson curls into the lane. Well, she's been in some foul trouble. You need your players, right? 420 to go. McGill, ball is blocked, and it's blocked by Wright. Crump with it into the front court. Back into the hands of Linnell Wright. All right, steps it out, gets it to Crump. Long three for oh, wow. Crump and hit. Wow, that was deep. You know, McKinney was wide open on the wing too, and it, that was a nice shot. 11 points in each half, 22 total for Crump with the five point Minnetonka lead. Last five in this game have gone to Minnetonka. McGill left open for a three. They backed off her, and she's like, I'll take that, and drains it. Now 20 second half points for Liv McGill, her team back to within two. Look at this crumb. <laughs> this is a 24 footer minimum right there where she hit that and then at the other end kind of he, backed he, off a little bit was, nobody they didn't switch there was a miscommunication yep. on who was going to take her well it'll be interesting to see what kind of pressure change coach starts breaks out now i'm sure that was part of it we're going to change up our defense a little bit here as far as maybe how we're pressing or you know, put a little more different type of press on the ball coming up. Section gentlemen play under week underway next week. Hopkins in their section just seven teams in their section. They'll get a first round by and coach Starks welcome that you know, they yeah. did some some sickness and she said we just don't have enough time to, to practice. Yeah and that's you know you know and, and the coaches love practice time right. <laughs> yeah, we do you know it's like. <laughs> They've, she said we've been game, 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 and then what? I think they had like six different kids with different sicknesses and whatnot, and it's just like, yeah, I get everybody healthy and clean up a few things before we get into section play. Well, here we go. 3.25 to play in the second half. Linnell Wright has had a solid game for Minnetonka. Brings it into the front court. Into the hands now of Tori McKinney on the wing. Down the block. A little turn around by Wolf. Good look at the basket. Couldn't get the shot to go down. Hillsheim rebounds. Front court into the hands of Woodson. And now off to McGill. Three minutes to play in the second half. I think they're going to try and open some things up and have McGill drive. Maybe not. Walker will hand off to Harris, lost it off her foot out of bounds. Well, those will happen, just have yep. some unforced turnovers. McKinney had one the other end, a few possessions to go, and one for Harris there. McKinney, are we going to beat the five second clock? Out of bounds, who touched it? Well, and then, and then she didn't see she had a player coming back wide open, too. They were lucky on this one because they got it back. Yep, but. It was tipped by, minute by Hopkins. One more look at it. Pass. Oh, oh. Hair off Harris. I think if, if Harris had let it go, it would have been off of Crump. Right. Well, and, and you know, they're so used to Crump being able to get up and get that. Is that five on her now? That is definitely five this time on London Harris. So three points in the first half for Harris, and she's out. Cupido, a freshman, guard back in. Crump at the free throw line. She has made all seven of her free throws in the second half and has 
Nine of ten on the game from the line. One of 11. Hillsheim rebounds. Still a one possession game with 2.45 to go. McGill Walker hands off to Woodson. And out of McGill. Puts up a three for the tie. Short. McGill crashing the boards, trying to get the loose ball. Cupido's got it. Whistle. Jump ball. Jump ball. And will stay with Hopkins. There really wasn't. It didn't even look like anybody really had any net. That looked like the call it had to be. McGill will inbound from the baseline. Now to Walker. Back to McGill. Cuts. Oh, and a block by Crump. Oh, Leah Crump erases it. And a possession for Minnetonka. Three point lead in the basketball. 2.10 to go. Crump puts it up. Back iron. Not good. And the offensive rebound by Tory McKinney. Skip pass across. And deflected and out of bounds by Tatum Woodson. Look at that block by Crump. Wow. She just gets up there. A timeout here for Minnetonka. Well, Minnetonka wants to get a good possession this time, get a bucket. We got to just take good care of this on this one. And then, you know, Hopkins, let's get in there and disrupt. Know where these people are. And definitely, if they, if they don't make it, let's pull down the rebound. 17 on the shot clock when we come out of the timeout. Yeah, Minnetonka able to get, if they can get to the free throw line again or get, get a bucket, go up by two possessions again. Again, still plenty of time to, to go, but yeah, they're uh, looking to pull it off here and they have led wire to wire tonight. Well, and, and now they're in like double bonus. Double bonus, So you right. followed, you got two free throws whether, you know, if you don't make your shot, fine. And if you do. And you've got, Harris has already fouled out. Woodson has four. Hillsheim has four. They don't play a lot of players. They've played just eight so far. Williams has seen some playing time. White and Cupido, not a ton off the bench, but. They might have to rely on those players if, uh, again, either Hillsheim or Woodson picks up a foul here in the last couple of minutes of play. When you got what? Just McGill with three then, too? Yeah, McGill has had three since the uh, five minute mark of the first half. Five minute left in the first half. Inbound here by Wright. Does get it in for the five second count to Crump. Come back out. Wright out of the baseline to Nessa. Shot clock at eight. Wright will go to the basket against McGill. Altered that shot. Pulled down by Hillshine. Back into McGill's hands in the front court. 135 to go. Hopkins down by three. McGill off to Cupido for three. Short rebounded by Hillshine. Off to Woodson. In the corner and then back out to McGill. Shot clock at 15. McGill lost the ball, loose ball picked up by Cupido. Put up another three this time, knocks it down. The freshman with her first basket tonight ties it at 59. A minute to play, Minnetonka with the basketball. Lenell Wright with the ball, hands it off to Nesef. Tori McKinney. Wolf trying to get the ball away and they're stolen by Cupido. Into the hands now of Woodson. 40 seconds to go. Hopkins looking to take their first lead of the game late. 20 on the shot clock, 32 on the game clock. Back into the hands of Cupido. Cupido. Hands it back to McGill. Crump was looking for the steal, couldn't get it. Right floater up and in. Hopkins in front for the first time in the game. 15 seconds to go. Right back the other way from Minnetonka. Open one. Ties it up and she'll have a chance to put Minnetonka back in front. Wow. That was just ice in her blood. I mean, cold. She just went full blow for that. And 
was able to finish with the layup to tie it up, and now he's at the line. First look at the basket by McGill. That was a nice job. And then back the other way, all the way to the basket. Right, no fear at all. Free throw up and in. Minnetonka by one, 10 seconds to play. Ball into the hands of McGill. McGill lost the ball. <laughs> Taken back by Wright. Minnetonka is oh. going to win it. That was an intentional at the end. Now if they'll shoot the free throw, the fouls definitely came before the final buzzer. Regardless, Minnetonka is going to win this. Oh, well, yeah. if it came before the final buzzer, actually, there would be a little time left yeah. on the clock. So I shouldn't say these free throws don't mean anything because there will be a little time put back on the clock. But intentional fouls, you you said. Yeah, you get the... Like, like, was the call, right? Yeah, she called intentional foul because what she did when she was coming down, she literally pushed her in the back. So four seconds on the clock. I didn't... Oh, there's no way there was four seconds left. No. She had like... There was like two seconds left point when she went four. to the basket. He's going to go point zero four. <laughs> Well, maybe that's what they meant to do when they were just an honest mistake at the score table. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that it wasn't. But they're like, no, it definitely wasn't four. But definitely could be 0-4. Well, well, let's look at that sequence again. McGill just kind of lost the ball here. Yeah. And then uh, so turnover. So she's coming behind her here. Yeah, and yeah, there's the push by him. Hillshine. So it is 0.4 seconds. And Linnell Wright, how about the last 15 seconds of the game oh my for her? Yeah. The second one is also good. You gotta be happy having a sophomore like that. Well, and then look at the freshman for, uh, for Hopkins came in and hit yeah. that three Tupido to tie it up. Three, yeah. Now the big thing here too is that Minnetonka gets the inbound. I mean, right. there's really no shot here for, for Hopkins. You just need to have someone touch it inbounds. They do. And Minnetonka pulls the upset here on the road. Never trailed until the final 30 seconds, and they come back. Well, now Wright hits the big basket in the end one. And they get the late steal, and they win at 64-61 to push to 24-2 and on the season. Hopkins drops to 23 and three, but what a ball game. Wow. Well, like you said too, what a game to play in, in a great game like this before going into sections. You know, a lot of good to take and like Coach Stark says, gives her some time to get in practice and you know, just a great game though. Two, two, two very talented teams to play. It was fun to watch. 23 points for Aaliyah Crump, Linnell Wright with 20, none bigger than the last four of the game for her. And uh, Liv McGill did everything she could. Patty DeWiller team back into the game after having six points and foul trouble in the first half. 22 second half points for the senior and 28 in the game. Well, and that's that's that is senior leadership, a floor leader, a person that you know I had foul trouble in the first half, but I got to come in and do my job. I got to get people the ball, which she did. She scored. She played defense. She really did try to get her team back in there. Nice win for Coach Gosgriff against uh, the team he coached for so many years and gets a, a season split with uh, Hopkins. And both of these teams will take something into the, the postseason. I think it's a great opportunity for Minnetonka, a great momentum as they head into section play and section two. And for Hopkins, you got some time to work on some things. And not that it's the Nothing wrong with losing to the number two team in the state. I'm not trying to say that, but Hopkins like, okay, we can be better. We'll be ready when section six play starts. Exactly. You know, just some things they're going to work on. But like you said, you got one and two playing here. Um, could could actually see that again in a few more weeks here. Yeah, this was fun. This Patty, was thanks for being one. here tonight. We appreciate you. And Thank you, John. Thanks to all of our crew. And uh, we had a blast tonight here at Hopkins. It was fun from start to finish, and it's Minnetonka on the road pulling up the upset here, 64 to 61. For all of our great crew and for Patty Sorensen, I'm John Jacobson. Thanks so much, and good night from Hopkins High School.